Okay, so I am going to cut out these little stickers and stick them on the little bottles here. I have these miniature ones, Hobby Lobby in the clearance department. And then I'll fill a couple more. I have some rosemary and lemongrass. I might as well do that first. Okay, so now I'm going to fill the apothecary that I made, and this is the last video, and I have a bunch of little bottles, and they're rolling all over the place. Okay, <clears throat> these I got from Timu, and We'll fill them up and put labels on them. I have a bunch of herbs that I had of my own. Like I showed you in previous videos. And I did get these from Timo. I wanted some flowers. They look so pretty. Look at that. They weren't that expensive. I think like $5 for this bag. So, for those, I kind of want to make it magical, so I should make a little, a little tag with affirmation in it, with an affirmation in it. So we'll do this last, I think. Let's fill up some of these that I didn't do. These are perfect, perfect labels. Perfect size. So, let me make up some tags real quick to put inside the bottles. Some affirmation, potion, um, positive affirmations, just to have the energy of that inside these. And I'll be back. feels like it's ceramic and then I'll do the back of this this is all I needed like one little dab all this glue is wasted I don't like to waste anything okay so I'm actually gonna glue this on the shelf of the 
very apothecary. So I will put a little dab on it. I'm going to go run and do that. Alright. So we'll seal that one. Now I'm going to fill up a few more and then seal them all at once. Let's do the flower ones. Because we'll tie them with rope or some with the black rope. I didn't even look at these yet. Let's see what I got. Aramanth. Amaranth. Globe Amaranth. They look like almost like um, red clover. But the leaves are different. What's a straw flower? Really pretty. I don't think any, none of these will fit in the bottles, but they'll fit in the big ones I have. Okay. This rose petals. Oh, pretty. We'll use some of those for sure. And we have forget me nuts. Get me nuts. Pretty. These look like roses, rose buds. Oh yeah. Rose buds. Pretty. Lavender. Look at this lavender from China <laughs> compared to this organic. I, this is old though. I don't know how old. But it's not that that old. But look at the difference. I wonder how they do that. Jasmine. Ooh, Jasmine. And then there's some, there's some lavender on the bottom. Oh, Lily. Oh, pretty. And Gomfrina. Those also look you know, they might be dyed for all I know. But that's okay. They're pretty. They're not going to be used like these definitely would be used in foods or, you know, cookies, lavender cookies. I would never use these because I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Let's put some. Oh, I need some green. I need some greenery. Let me go grab. I got some. Either this is juniper or cedar. But gotta have a little green in there. So let's do some green. Use this lavender. It's really pretty.
What are you doing, Oliver? You're knocking things down, bringing that thing. <laughs> you did. We'll use some forget-me-nots. This could be a sleep potion. Let's call this a sleep potion. Forget-me-not, lavender, or for sweet dreams. Let's do a forget-me-not potion. I should actually look up the, the medicinal properties because the fairies would definitely go by that for sure. Look at how pretty that is. How about my soul's purpose. Let's roll that up. I need something skinnier to roll it up. I'll do a label for this. Look at that. Is that darling? That's so pretty. All right. Let's do this one. Lily. Lily. Let's do some jasmine. Let's just call this one Safe Transition Potion. Tea, like the fairies can use it when they transition through anything. Doesn't necessarily mean death. Oh, these are pretty big. Let's see.
cedars for protection anyway. So it's always good to have protection in there. I will be back. I'm going to go find my little bag of crystals, my little bag of quartz, and I'm going to add some in. Okay, so I found them. These are my little bag of crystals. I said in another video that these are very, or earlier in this video, that these are very old. I don't know where I got them, but matter of fact, I saw them recently on Timu, so they have them there too. So if you want to get them, you can look on eBay or Timu for these little quartz. And they're real. So I don't know if, you know, Timus are real, but these are. So I'd like to add a nice long one. Crystal. Look at that. This is safe transition. Okay, put another one in there. So I have to make a label for that. Look at that. How pretty is that? Okay. Well, I'm going to keep going with these bottles. I have quite a few. So when I'm done, I'll wrap a few and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to keep filling these up. And you get the idea. So I didn't get to the labels yet, but I wanted to show you. I ended up getting the wire just wrapped around tightly. I used these. I didn't have it long enough to twist it. So I bent it and I glued it. And then I wrapped, wrapped it with the rope. And then I um, just glued a crystal on it so it looks so pretty like that so now what I'm going to do is I'll make labels for this but I am going to put the wax on it and show you how I do that on these and then I'll finish making them and I will put all the bottles in the fairy apothecary and I'll show you what it looks like when I fill it and that'll be after this so I'm gonna do the wax since I don't have sealing wax you can use a candle but I'm gonna I want colors so I bought some crayons and this one will do some let's do some yellow
here it is. And I will show you everything that's in it. And we'll begin. It came out beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. It's kind of filled. I kind of like overfilled it, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? Here's my little mortar and pestle. I was waiting for my mortar and pestle. Look at that. And here's all my bottles that you saw me create. 12 strand DNA orbs. Here's the orbs. Orbs. Little crystal mushrooms. Now here is a little cauldron. It's crystal, it's quartz, it's uh, Labradite, and this is onyx. This is onyx. Okay. And then here's my little teas, mushroom powder, crystal, and some moss, and some cotton balls, some natural cotton. Here's my tea. And a little bottle with aloe vera. It's always healing. Of course, it's fake, but not to a fairy. My other teas. And there's my little scale and an antique bottle, which I should probably get some more apothecary bottles and put some antique ones in there. And there's one fairy, and there's a sign, and here's a little apothecary test tubes. And there we go. Oh, and this one. Okay. There's the butterfly I made. I showed that in the video. Now this is a crystal, it is a starlight, and that is a fairy crystal with the cross, and that's from Russia, and there is a story that when they heard that Christ was crucified on the cross, the fairies cried and cried and cried, and they formed, the tears formed the crosses and the rocks. And this is another fairy crystal. Let me grab it. This is called a chastolite. It's also a fairy cross. I don't know where that came from, but I have that one and I do have another one somewhere in here. There's another one. That one's polished. And here's my other little fairy. with her little teacup. And then I have a shell and some white sage. And then here's my little corner painting I did. And the other fairy there. So I finished. So thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you can make your own. I forgot to show you this little lantern I got at a thrift store. Let me take this out. And these are cicada wings. Fairy lights in there. Isn't that cute? Look at that. How darling is that? So I forgot to show you here. There's some walnuts in there and that's a crystal from Sedona. I have some more hibiscus. 
and where's my camera? Lemongrass. And that one has a message in the bottle. I also have some hickory nuts. Some acorns. And you can't see my star of anise. And this is the fairy wings that I did. There's a video I did the bottles with, the fairy wing essence bottles. And you have to look on my channel and look for the fairy wing essence. These are cicada wings inside. And these are, see it? These are shaker bottles. Look how pretty. So these are potions too. So I wanted to share that, that I missed. I'm sure there's more I missed in here. There's tiny little bottles up there. Those are little medicine bottles. And that's a little container, porcelain. So I wanted to share the rest that I missed. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you can find your own little treasure hunt. And that's what it's like. I don't have links for you to get everything. Some things I got at thrift stores, some things I got at Timu, um, some things I got at Hobby Lobby. So it's your own little treasure hunt to make your own, and I hope you do. So thank you for watching.